Hello, everybody. This is Mary Shores coming to you live from the Fearless Ambition Group. We're actually starting the broadcast a little bit late because I had some technical issues, which ended up being something that was muted. Anyway, I do have Jessica Reed here with me, and I am so excited because Jessica Reed is just somebody who's come into my life, and she is amazing on so many levels. She is a global clairvoyant. She is a channel and a purpose fulfillment coach. And I first met her because I was a guest on her podcast, Spirit Talks for the Fifth Dimension. And when her and I were on this show together, it didn't take us but a few minutes to figure out that we had a lot of similarities in the things that we were teaching. And so as I was describing my process to her that that I have in the book Conscious Communications, she said, well, that sounds a lot like this quantum leaping process. So mm -hmm. I've heard about quantum leaping. I really don't know that much about it. So Jessica, hello, and can you tell us Hi. a little bit about what quantum leaping is? Yeah, definitely. So quantum leaping um, is really working on the basis of quantum physics and the law of attraction. So if everyone can start um, commenting, I just want to see if the comments are working so I can um, interact with you all. Um, if everyone can give me a comment saying yes, whether you um, understand quantum physics or you're really kind of aware of the law of attraction and the whole um, the whole philosophy of it. Um, I just love love to love to hear from you all um, because yeah, quantum leaping is based on quantum physics, and it's all about leaping your quantum physics. So your quantum physics are is, it's like we're at on a level of consciousness and how that's reflecting in your reality, right? So everyone knows that. Everyone knows in the law of attraction, what's going on within you is what's reflecting on the outside, and that's your that's your quantum physics. Okay. Um, and so when you take a quantum leap, you're leaping those quantum physics, you're changing those quantum physics, you're making internal shifts and transformations so that your outlet uh, your outward reality leaps, right? So it leaps in the direction of your desires. It leaps in the direction of what it is that you actually really see for yourself at your highest potential. Um, and so we'll talk about this further as to how it actually works and what stages you go through, but that's the essence of quantum leaping, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you um, what I heard you say, and then you can just correct me in case I got any of it wrong. So this is the way I interpret this is the way I interpret what you explained, that mm -hmm. in, the, in the quantum field, like any potential or any possibility exists, that mm -hmm. is your potential. And the leaping process is connecting you to one outcome or another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that, um, yeah, yeah I... from one outcome to another. So it's right. like from what's currently projecting as your reality to another projection of your reality. And that's what I call parallel realities, right? We all have infinite parallel realities within our own consciousness. Well, oh, my little baby is coming to join us. <laughs> hello. So so, this is so exciting because um, the other day we just had, you know, the Scorpio new moon and mm -hmm. I have decided what my new reality is going to be. And I could mm -hmm. not wait to talk to you today. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so that I could leap into that new reality. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so quantum leaping being a step-by-step -step journey to manifesting your soul's highest reality. Because, you know, we think mm -hmm. about that. Like, we all have these amazing potentials available to us. But, like, you know, how do we step into that highest potential, mm -hmm. that highest reality, through connecting deeply with our future self? And, mm -hmm. like, that, that like, thing that is going to connect us to our highest good. So mm -hmm. do you want to go ahead and just walk us through it now? Yeah, definitely. So with quantum leaping, uh, there's really three different stages that you go through. Um, and within my course, it, it takes you, it guides you through those stages and you have worksheets and so on. Um, but the first stage is really um, Acknowledging where you are at currently and, and really kind of breaking all of that down as to how that um, how that's all laid out within your consciousness, right? So within within the course, I teach you how to go through like your level of consciousness around every area of your life. So you're understanding 
all your positive beliefs, all your negative beliefs, all your fears or limitations around each area of your life. Um, and then once you really look at that, you realize how that's manifesting in your external world. You realize, okay, this is for sure um, a reflection in my reality. And if I change what's going on within me, that's for sure going to change what's happening in my reality, right? So you first acknowledge exactly where you are because you then utilize that information in the um, second and third step, okay? So you first realize exactly where you're at and you become super aware in consciousness, uh, aware and conscious of your of your thoughts, your beliefs, your limitations, your fears, everything. The second stage well, hold on. is Before really... Jessica, mm -hmm. before we move on to the second stage, because I'm enjoying mm -hmm. this and I want to really understand um, these steps. Mm -hmm. So let's mm -hmm. say that I am having a hard time seeing my current level of consciousness. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. What's a good hint of how you could like mirror that? You know, in my, in my, mm -hmm. when I talk to you, I probably would say like, if you pay attention to the words that you use, yeah. that's a good like mirror. Yeah. So how does someone figure out where they're currently at? Um, yeah, so, so the worksheet really helps with that, but if you, don't, if you don't have the worksheet, you can always just really kind of, um, I would first break down on a piece of paper, like each area of your life, right? And then, with, and then go into each area separately. So you can do it super simple and you can see it very clearly. And within each area of your life, what I would do is kind of just tell a bit of a story about what's going on in that area of your life, right? So say if it was relationships is the area that you're focusing on. Uh -huh. What's going on in your area of relationships? Um, are you finding that you're having a lot of arguments in your relationships? Are you finding that you're feeling like you can't trust the people in your, your relationships? So that's meaning like romantic relationships, friendships, family. What is the What are the kind of things that are going on within your relationships, right? You might start noticing, oh yeah, like I do find it really hard to trust people whether it's romantic whether it's friendship whether it's business or you might be thinking uh, I find it really hard to open up or be myself around these relationships or speak clearly what I want to express so and so you might be really kind of breaking down what is the reality because the reality is going to show you a reflection of what's going on internally so, right. so once you really yeah and once you really clarify that reality start breaking it down start turning it inward and, and start questioning why is it that I don't trust people? Why do I find it hard to open up? Um, and, and just start really writing down um, and taking notes about where you're acknowledging you're currently at. Okay, you, you may not find the exact answer why you can't trust, but you need to at least write down that within your consciousness, you are, you are untrusting or, or you might write down that you have a belief that it's not safe to trust other people, right? Mm -hmm. And you might get a hint as to where that's coming from. It might be that you realize that when you're being brought up, your dad always says, trust nobody or, you know what I mean? Like, start realizing where is, what's happening on my level of consciousness? from what I've seen in my reality. So you want to just be taking like lots and lots and lots of notes and stating these are my current beliefs. And you don't have to state it as if it's going to be your belief for the rest of your life or you may not want that to be your belief, but you're just acknowledging what your current beliefs are and what your thoughts are. You might just be noting down, I always think that I have to be careful about men or, you know, so all these beliefs in your area of relationships and then go into your area of career, do the same thing, you know, do that, apply that to each area of your life. Just really take a, a deep time of reflection upon what's going on within your consciousness and how that's reflecting in your external world and take lots and lots and lots of notes. So you know exactly kind of where you're at, what thoughts are happening, what beliefs are happening, what perceptions you're holding, what fears you're holding as well. Yeah. Um, so say if we go back to the relationships part of things, you might, you might, kind of acknowledge, okay, I'm holding a belief that it's not safe to trust other people or to open up to other people. Um, and then you might you might note down, I have a, you might just be noting down and acknowledging, I have a fear of opening up and being hurt. Um, I have a fear of being vulnerable and, and having that disrespected. So yeah. just note it all down and, and don't be harsh on yourself. That's the number one thing I really notice with this is it's not a time to be acknowledging things for the point of blaming yourself as to why these things are reflecting in, real, in your reality. It's just about from a higher self level, 
observing because you're ready for change but you need to know what's going on first of all what you know you need to know what needs change in order for it to reflect in your reality right right so you know just as an example of that um mm -hmm. i love so for everyone that's in fearless ambition and if you have either the download of dream with a deadline or if you have the conscious communications guidebook a great place where you can start with what jessica is talking about is the life wheel so you know we have the page with the life wheel and it's going to ask you to rate each area of your life from zero to ten mm -hmm. And so if you see an area that is low, like a zero, one, two, three, four, or five, then you can ask yourself these questions that Jessica is suggesting, like what is making me feel vulnerable? What are my fears? So I recently, had something that I was exploring in the area of relationships. And I and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but my example would be that I had a fear of letting other people know like what my level of success was. So I was kind of like dimming my light because I mm -hmm. didn't want to like scare people away if I was, mm -hmm. you know, like way more successful than them. So is that an example of like a fear mm -hmm that is sort of like bringing on a behavior causing a causing that relationship sector to be a lower number yeah definitely definitely and, that, and you know like that's an aspect of not letting someone in or, or yeah not being vulnerable in your relationship so it's like you would just acknowledge that just acknowledge that and kind of acknowledge where it's coming from mm -hmm. uh, whether it's like a belief that you've grown up with or whether it's something that someone's like taught you or you know what i mean like you just acknowledge where that's coming from and just acknowledge okay there is space there is room for me to open up further and a great way to do that would be to start working upon um start just telling people the truth you know like just yeah. telling them exactly exactly and vulnerably this is this is my life story this is what's being my reality and that's definitely not something to be ashamed of there could be a lot worse thing you'd be wanting to hide <laughs> you know there's, there's well it's a, it's interesting that you say that because just in the past two days i have gotten like speaking my truth so i did a video on it and i really tied it in with like if i was at a if i was attracting unavailable men there was a piece mm -hmm. of me that was unavailable but i was having a hard time seeing myself is mm -hmm. unavailable and then I kind of connected it to this dimming my light yeah. and some other things but anyway mm -hmm. let's we can move on to step number two because you have done a great job of explaining um, how you mm -hmm. can discover your current level of consciousness so our step one mm -hmm. is we want to just you know take a take a look at where we're at in our reality right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so Step two is really about the parallel realities, okay? So as we mentioned before, um, within ourselves, within that quantum field, which we are, we're in, we're in that quantum field, um, all the possibilities and all the parallel realities are infinite, okay? And so what I mean by parallel realities is different realities, you know, because parallel is, 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 is a definition of something that's different and that... Uh, something that projects a different trajectory, a different um, outcome, right? And right. so if you acknowledge that you have infinite parallel realities within you, um, different ways that your reality can manifest, you realize that you get to choose. You get to choose which one you want, okay? And you're probably asking, like, well, how do I choose? <laughs> do I just <laughs> choose? Um, well, the thing is, parallel realities, it's really good to understand what the basis of a parallel reality is is so that you can consciously choose that parallel reality so the basis of a parallel reality is a state of consciousness okay and so each parallel reality has a different state of consciousness which make which is the reason why they're parallel to each other does that make sense it's kind of like well if you're holding well, this <clears throat> set of consciousness and these set of beliefs then in another reality, you're holding a different set of consciousness, a different set of beliefs, a different level of um, uh, different level of positive um, psychology. Right? You're going right. to have two different realities, so they're going to be parallel to each other. They're going to be parallel realities. Does that make sense? Yeah. What it reminds me of is um, the movie. The movie. I think it was Men in Black Three. 
-hmm. And there was the guy, there was a character in the movie and he would say things like, oh, this is the version where this happened and this person became president. Mm -hmm. And he kind of like, he was mm -hmm. doing this thing where he was acting out the character who was mm -hmm. um, leaping between different parallel realities. And so uh -huh. in the movie, and I don't know if you saw it. So Jessica actually is in Sydney. Mm -hmm. Are you in Sydney right now or somewhere else? I'm in New Zealand now. I was in Sydney yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. So Jessica ha is joining us from New Zealand, and um, so it is just wonderful for her to be here, and it's much earlier in the day for her, so, <laughs> so that's a good thing. So yes, I do understand your concept of having parallel um, consciousness and parallel reality. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of like if you might think of it like this, you might, um, you might think of it in a way of if your if you're insecurity or your um, imbalance as such is confidence like if you are aware like i really have a low self-esteem i have low confidence you might think if i had um sally's level of confidence for example oh, yeah. sally had really high confidence if you thought about it like if i had sally's level of confidence my life would be so different you know like a lot of people think this a lot of the time that you know always think oh if i had her confidence my life would be different or oh, if i if I had um, her optimism or her belief in herself, I, c I could have a totally different reality. I could have a totally different lifestyle. Like people think that all the time, right? Like, and we mm -hmm. find ourselves thinking that all the time as well. If, 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 if I had a different level of consciousness in some way or another, my life would be different. So, so that what that person is referring to is, is a, a parallel reality right it's like if i had confidence i would have a parallel reality a different reality and so we're really acknowledging here that within us we have the uh, ability to embody different states of consciousness which create different realities and so we have infinite parallel realities within us infinite potentials within us because we can create whatever level of consciousness we choose to if we if we consciously choose to right mm -hmm. so yeah it's, it's acknowledging that okay this is my reality right now but i know that it's also a potential for me to be living a lifestyle where um let's say for example like a lot of people would say for example where I'm a millionaire, okay? And so I think everyone knows that in order for me to get from where I am to the parallel reality where I'm a millionaire, I've got to, I've got to really kind of up-level my consciousness to a level of which where I can even believe in the possibility of being a millionaire. I've got to level up-level and shift and transform my consciousness to a level where abundance is just... An alignment within myself you know so it's like just realizing if I'm here and I want to be here you know in a parallel reality then I can do that by changing my consciousness yeah right so in my example of <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being so vulnerable that I'm like outing myself on on this show right now but so in my example of saying <laughs> that I realized I had an issue with showing up as um, unavailable, then mm -hmm. if I were completely emotionally available, so if I were mm -hmm. stepping into the reality of the, the version of Mary who is completely vulnerable, mm -hmm. who is completely emotional available, emotionally available, mm -hmm. then what kind of opportunities would be around me differently um mm -hmm. at that point so mm -hmm. i love what you're saying and also like mm -hmm. for the money example is mm -hmm. if i had 100 percent belief that mm -hmm. all of the abundance is available to me all of the opportunities mm -hmm. are available to me like what would that look like so i love mm -hmm. where you're going um with this mm -hmm. step two Mm -hmm, definitely and one thing that you pointed out which is really 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 important for everyone to acknowledge is that um it's about accessing a different version of yourself right mm -hmm. as you were saying like the version of mary who's being really vulnerable and really expressive right so yes. think of it in that way think of it as in um like if i were to give an example of myself i would say that um 
say right now I'm a current reality. I'm not a author, you know, like I don't have a book, but I know that within myself there's like a version of me that is an author, right? And I, I think you probably would have acknowledged that too before you had your book that you have now. It's like you can tap into, you can start feeling like there's a parallel reality within me that is an author. Or some people might relate it to, I feel like there's a uh, an entrepreneur within me who's successful or I know there's a version of myself within me where I'm completely vulnerable and open in a relationship and completely happy within that relationship there's a version of myself who is with her soulmate and just loving co-creating in life you know like it's about really tapping into that so that's another way that people can understand parallel realities is understand what is it that you know is within you but isn't currently being embodied and expressed? I mean, everyone's done that before. You, Everyone's felt a different version of themselves within themselves. And it's not for a place of um, have already been um, like living that. It's not for a place of already, um, like, like they've already achieved that. It's from a place of knowing that it's in there somewhere but they just haven't reached it yet. You know, what, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like Yes, I do. And I, I love your example about mm -hmm. the author because um, so Jessica is going to be turning in a proposal to Hay House on mm -hmm. January 8th. And I just, mm -hmm. I'm so excited for her. And I hope that we will all mm -hmm. join her in, in rooting that she, I was actually thinking, I feel sorry for the other people turning it in because <laughs> you know how to step into that reality. So I will acknowledge that there was a moment when I got ready to write my proposal, there was a moment that I was in that, what you're talking about, that 100% confidence that I knew mm -hmm. it was going to happen and there was nothing inside of me that questioned it. So now what's mm -hmm. interesting, this would be my question to you, is that mm -hmm. even though I had that moment and I held that moment for a few hours, like over that mm -hmm. next seven months while I was waiting, you know, for the answer on my proposal, I did not hold that level of consciousness for the entire seven months but there were sort of like periods when I was there and then there were periods where I was not there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well it really matters like what is your dominant space you know like you don't have to be perfect you don't have to be all the time believing like completely I mean ideally you would but we're humans as well and so not all of us can oh. <laughs> I don't know if he's very curious as to what we're doing here <laughs> and why I'm not talking to him. Um, but yeah, like you can't, you, we, as humans, we can't be perfect. We can't be in that space all the time. We have like our lives going on. But it's about like, what is your dominant vibration? What is your dominant consciousness? What's what's your dominant belief? Like, did you find throughout that time that most of the time, or for the majority of it, that you believed that you you could really do that, or was it that you dominantly disbelieved or doubted it? I would say um, the important thing is, and that's a really great, great question, Jessica. The important thing is 100% of the time, or at least a very high percentage of the time, I believe mm -hmm. that I would have a book. So mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the, the, all of the time, the majority of the time, if I had to put a percentage mm -hmm. on it, I would even say above 90% of the time, my absolute 100% mm -hmm. truth was that I would mm -hmm. have a book published. Now, whether mm -hmm. that was through Hay House is the thing that changed. So, mm -hmm. so I let go a bit of the outcome of it having to be mm -hmm. with Hay House, and I was very mm -hmm. open to whether that would look like self-publishing or whether I would mm -hmm. get an agent and shop mm -hmm. the uh, proposal around to some other so, so that was mm -hmm. an excellent way to clear that up because yes, 100% of the time I was in the reality of being an author, but whether or not mm -hmm. it was Hay House was sort of what was up in the air. Yeah, yeah, but but your dominant vibration was like more on the positive than it was on the negative. And so that's what we're yeah. really looking for when it comes to it's quantum physics law of attraction. Like we don't have to be perfect or a hundred percent, but we need to be tipping the scale toward what we what we're wanting is the reality, right? Um and so yeah, it's it's about realizing that as human beings we have unlimited potential, um, infinite parallel realities as to how we can shape our lives. And I feel like 
with the with the whole awareness of quantum physics and law of attraction, I think everybody knows that in general. Um, but but I feel like people are wanting more of like a broken down kind of logical way to realize that and access that which is really one of the big reasons why i created the quantum leaping course um and by the way like quantum leaping came from my spirit guides and i was the vessel for it and kind of executed it it's not all my credit <laughs> you know um but it's definitely something that i felt through their intention with my intention it was like how can we take quantum physics and law of attraction to the next level by actually incorporating both the mind and the the soul um and and breaking it down to a process that people can look at and go okay that's going to get me from here to there and i know the roadmap as opposed to i'm here and i want to be there and there's this gap in between right, right. um and i know that i need to use quantum physics and the law of attraction but i don't know how to apply it exactly to get that exact reality right so yeah step one know where you're at step two know your parallel realities and what ones you desire okay so know what it is that you feel is within yourself and on what you desire but you know you're just not at quite yet because it's not reflecting in your reality right? right and then with that what we do is within the actual third step which is the the quantum leaping the actual leaping process we we go into there's like a guided meditation process where we go into our, our connection with our soul our higher selves we connect with that that vast limitless consciousness that is um, you know what what people is explain is like the just that bigger part of themselves that part of themselves that is just like the cosmos you know it's just mm -hmm. your infinite space we go into that space where all the parallel realities are where everything is potential and what we do is we consciously through a process we consciously choose the parallel reality that we're we're um, looking to explore and go into and so that might be say for example i i often quantum leap into my myself as an author so you can also think of it as like your future self as an author right the the jessica that is a hay house author <laughs> and so when i go into that reality there's like a process where you step through the door and you go into the reality we just observe that reality we just watch okay let's just watch jessica and her space where she's a hay house author and, and her life is in that in that reality and we start to observe that get all the kind of details and, and there's a worksheet, worksheet that um, follows it. You write down all the details of that, that parallel reality. So you know exactly what it's like. You just mm -hmm. first identify it, right? And then what happens is in the process, we step into the shoes of that um, parallel reality, that parallel self, that future self. We step into her shoes. We start to embody her. So what we do in that process, as we embody her, we start realizing um, what that level of consciousness is so you might quantum leap and 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 step into the shoes of that future vision of yourself and start realizing oh i'm very confident in myself or you know i i'm a lot more positive from in this space or like oh i don't doubt myself the way i used to or um you might just feel it in your body language and your energy and your frequency and your vibration you might start realizing oh i'm hanging out with people who support me as an author or that are also hay house authors you know um I'm, you just start re you start really looking at what are the thoughts i'm having in this reality what are the perceptions i'm holding in this reality what limitations or fears are absent in this reality and the worksheet also um has all the all the the workings as to like what you need to do to really um work that out right and from mm -hmm. that space when you write down just like the first step when you write down and break down the consciousness of of that parallel reality and you start realizing these are the thoughts these are beliefs these are the perceptions these are the um the these are the the fears or the limitations that are absent in this reality you can and there's another step to this but but i just want to take note now when you've got all that down you can look at literally like side by side with the worksheets you can look at side by side the difference between your states of consciousness and you can start realizing and you can start working through it you can make yourself some steps you can start realizing okay i need to start practicing 
um, this thought, this affirmation that exists in my parallel reality every day, right? I need to start thinking these thoughts consciously. I need to start bringing them into my into my daily practice, okay? Um, you might start affirming the beliefs that are in that parallel reality. You might start doing like I am statements from that reality. So from that reality, reality, I might be doing statements of I am a Hay House author. I am living my best life. I am um, connected with my soul group. I am I am part of the Hay House family. I am enjoying um, interacting and co-creating with other Hay House authors. And, and really you're just- you're doing right now. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's like because I've been doing the quantum leaping into the Hay House author, I've been attracting all these Hay House authors onto my show to co create with, and this is a divine example. You know, it's like you start really embodying what that future self um, is, is. Uh, you know, like the level of consciousness of that future self, you start embodying now so that you can mend the gap, right? Um, and you start also realizing, okay, so if this limitation or fear or doubt doesn't exist in that parallel reality, I'm only mm -hmm. going to get from here to there if I get rid of it. You know, it's kind right. of like you start realizing, ah, oh, it's because I doubt myself. Is That's the reason why I'm in this current reality and not in that one. That's why there's a gap between here and there so if i eliminated the reason or the blockage for the gap what could happen you know yeah. and 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 so then it's like okay what do i need to do to eliminate this fear or this doubt or this limitation that's going on and then you and then you'd go into deeper work as to what's the core what's the root of that limitation or fear or doubt is it because i just practiced it for so long do i need to start practicing the opposite do i not, do i need to start affirming the opposite to myself daily um like what is it i need to do to eliminate that fear it's kind of like if you see that's your main block or the main reason why you're here and not there make it like your your life purpose right now to to eliminate that fear somehow some way and you'll feel called as to which way it is for you because we all work in different ways but you'll know i know what i need to do about that you know it's like say for you you might realize okay the reason why i'm here and not in the relationship that i desire is because i i won't speak about my success or be truthful about what i've experienced on a level of success and so you might just say to yourself well i know what i need to do i need to start talking about it i need to start being right. open i need to start being vulnerable with it and and you know for yourself i'm not going to get from here to there if i don't do that you know right. my reality is going to stay the same if i don't actually start doing what i know i need to do so that's what you do within the the quantum leap you start breaking down the steps that you know you need to take and you start applying them and you start realizing Oh, this is how you really apply quantum physics and the law of attraction, right? Um, but back to the actual meditation process, after you take notes as to everything that's going on in that level of consciousness, you just really kind of play in that reality and you start to really just bring it into your space. You start just learning how to like embody that energy, that frequency, that vibration, and you just start practicing what that's like so that the more you practice it, the more you know it and, and who that version of yourself is, then, and this is why I've, um, I've done the long process meditation, I've also done like a express daily meditation around it so that you can daily practice getting into that space. You then have this focus of um, doing the step-by-step -step work but also on a daily basis realizing how can I how can I be in that energy, that frequency, that vibration? Because now that you know it, you just need to get into it more often, right? Mm -hmm. So I think of it in a way of I, I practice quantum leaping in that process, but also on a daily basis in terms of like, okay, so that vision of myself, she takes really good care of herself, or she um, she she makes sure that she fills her up herself up her she fills her cup before she fills anyone else's, or she wears clothes that make her feel cute and sexy, or she feel, she wears clothes that make her feel like she's cosmic or that she's beautiful, or she um, you know different different things. So it's it's like 
how can I wake up in the morning and take really good care of myself? Uh, you know, am I going to make sure that I'm meditating, journaling? Am I going to make sure I'm getting up and having a really healthy, like fulfilling breakfast? Um, am I going to have a bath before bed at night? Blah blah blah. You know, am I going to get up and am I going to am I going to wear my like my my kind of like slack black clothes because they make me feel like I can hide and be you know like um, just just be kind of you know what I mean like when we put on our kind of like clothes that make it don't we don't feel very good that they kind of just make us feel like we can hide or right. you know not really step up to the full potential of ourselves it's like how can I get up and look at my wardrobe and 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 think about it, like what would she wear how would she mm -hmm. she be dressing herself today how would she be showing up and it's like how can you do that right now how can you go to your wardrobe and pick out the clothes and that make you feel like you're embodying that version of yourself you know so I have a lot of fun with that it's like what would she wear today would she be feeling fun and cute and sexy and would she wear this top and that skirt or this dress or you know like how what would she do because it, because mm -hmm. your, your consciousness is infused through every decision that you make and everything that you're doing on a, on a daily basis you know um, and again like who would she be interacting with is she gonna go and hang out with that friend who only ever talks about herself and never cares what I have to say or <laughs> is she gonna say no nope, I don't actually feel like doing that today I don't feel like going and hanging out with someone who's only going to talk about themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to call my friend or my new friend or this person that I've nearly connected with and say, "Hey, do you want to go for a coffee? Do you want to go and hang out?" You know, like how are you going to make those changes by embodying that version of yourself every day and making decisions from that space and just continuing to ask yourself like what would she be doing and right. realizing the actions right. that you are taking and saying she wouldn't do that <laughs> you know what i mean like she wouldn't be wasting the time going to coffee with someone who just talks about themselves and, and doesn't even doesn't even ask her you know how her day has been like so don't do that kind of thing so that's that's the thing it's like there's a process and there's step-by-step -step actions to really focus on but it's also a daily embodiment of of the whole essence right yes i see that's uh, yeah everything you're saying is making perfect sense and what i love is that you know jessica and i really describe the same sort of concepts except for mm -hmm. we just use different languages so mm -hmm. where jessica is talking about it one way you know i would mm -hmm. talk about it more you know, like scientifically like through mm -hmm. neural pathways and these things but as you can see the concepts are very parallel whether you're using spiritual language or whether you're using scientific language and so mm -hmm. you know I definitely would ha I used to have a slogan when I was a young mm -hmm. when I was very young and I started my company at 24 years old um, my mm -hmm. motto was look the part you want to play so I would yeah. go out and buy like all these kind of sex in the city business outfits and high heels mm -hmm. and you know I didn't have any clients or yeah. any work to do but I would just walk around like that all the time. So I, mm -hmm. I love it that you mentioned that. So we're, yeah. we're rounding up to your last step, which is shifting into the consciousness, into alignment with your parallel reality. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about that step? Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of just explained that actually. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> okay. It, but it, it really is just like, how can you get in that alignment by embodying that space you know like how can you really practice that daily um, mm -hmm. and one thing that I didn't mention um, which is really important uh, is like I find journaling really 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 powerful and I, I know that a lot of people do so they'll probably relate um, so really going in that space where every day you can be journaling from that version of yourself from your future self from that parallel reality which is what I do a lot and it really helps like I could probably even grab my journal and read to you uh, just for fun let's do this <laughs> um, because we've been talking about the Hay House author mm -hmm. um, and you know you make sure and call me practice. you make sure and call me after you hear from them yes I will definitely so I've got my my journal here my daily journal and let me just take a moment to find this here got a lot of here we go okay 
So I've been, I love being part of the Hay House family. I love being on interna being an internationally recognized Hay House author. I love being welcomed, adored, appreciated, supported, and encouraged and promoted by Hay House and many other Hay House authors. I love feeling at home with Hay House and the Hay House family and community. I love meeting my inspirations such as Esther Hicks and so many more. Um, I love being connected with my soul sisters and soul brothers through Hay House and having so much soul fun, enjoying each other's purposes and co-creating amazing magical content and offering uh, and offerings together for the highest alignment, purpose and good of all. I love celebrating our success and freedom and abundance together. That's so that's just so an example beautiful. of like, you know, it's an example of go into that reality and journal from mm -hmm. that space. Sometimes I'll do that and I'll end up crying because I'm just so like grateful from a space of knowing that that's, that's within me, knowing that that is just kind of like in preparation or in its manifestation process. And when you get to that space where you're just like, oh my God, this is just amazing. Like you're just so, 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 so in that space where it's like it's already there then you're like going to a whole new level of quantum leaping because you're embodying it on so many so many levels of energy frequency vibration like you're already there and so that's the quantum leap process but then the quantum leap happens when it's when it reflects in your reality and sometimes there's sometimes there's time like say for example with my process um, the entries aren't until the 8th of January and the decision isn't until the 8th of February. So right. it's like, I, I know that it's not necessarily like reflected in my reality right now because I know that there's a process and there's time that is to take. And so, but I'm not getting like down on myself that I'm not already a Hay House author right now. Right. Um, right. You know, technically speaking, <laughs> it's just about, I'm just going to continue to be in that space and continue to be in that space and I know it will reflect in my well, reality. And you can, you, know? you can also celebrate the areas of your affirmations mm -hmm. that have already been showing up. You know, like you said, connecting, mm -hmm. yeah. connecting with other Hay House authors. And mm -hmm. I know I was just talking to um, Carrie Butler last night and mm -hmm. um, I had recommended you for their oh. show. And she called yeah. me last night and just said how much fun you were on the show. Yeah. And um, I'm going to go listen to that. So if that show, if anyone mm -hmm. wants to know, is called uh, Best Life Cafe with Kathy Anello mm -hmm. and Carrie Butler. So maybe I'll post the link to mm -hmm. Jessica's podcast um, yeah, that was episode fun. on their Best Life Cafe because they said you did a really mm -hmm. great job. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. And um. Yeah, that's the thing I love about quantum leaping is that it's that even if there are things that are like in process or they do have like um, they are related to you know like time timely things. It's it's like right. things will start showing up and reflecting either way. You know, you'll get all those confirmations. You'll get like the breadcrumbs <laughs> that'll be showing right. up that you know <laughs> you'll be getting the, all the pieces and um, but you know little kind of clues, little. Um, Hence the little winks from the universe that it's all moving in that direction, you know. Um, so, so it's it it really is like my favorite process for manifesting and putting it into like a step by step um, way that you know that like the the myth the method is is magic and, and just like your work as well. It's like you know if you start changing the words that you're using and the way that you're communicating with yourself and the universe and 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 everything um you know that things are going to start changing so it's like you just have to commit to the practice you just have to commit to to knowing um that it that it is something that is a daily thing you know like just with your work it's you're talking and communicating daily so it's a, it's a daily practice to to be aware of your communication that's going on right right that's right mm -hmm. well thank you Jessica, thank you for walking us through these steps. I am going to, when I listen to the playback, I'm going to take some really good notes and I'm actually going to post my notes in the comments. So if anyone mm -hmm. is interested in reading those and um, Jessica, tell the, the, tell the viewers if they wanted to get a hold of you to actually sign mm -hmm. up for your course, where would they do that at? Uh, let's say www.jessicareadonline.com. Uh, my last name is spelled R-E-I-D, but I'm sure 
Um, I'm sure you can all see this. Just read online.com. Um, and there is a page on my, on my website, which is the Quantum Leaping page. Um, you can purchase the course, and it's all like the online self-study. So you can purchase it, get it straight away, and study at your own pace. Mm. Very good. And the, we've, also the posted the that, we've also posted that link in the comments as well. And oh, awesome. so, well, thank you so much, Jessica. And I am yeah. <laughs> going to go ahead and stop the broadcast. Okay, one moment. If I can, like, remember where to do that. <laughs> There's the button. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Mm -hmm. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Oh, and I just want to mention, so if you're watching this live, I think the next live training we're going to do is actually going to be on writing, and it's going to be with Cheryl Muir. She is an author, a writing coach, and actually she just went to the Writer's Workshop in Bristol, and I just went to the one in Orlando. So we're going to go through some training that we learned at the Writer's Workshops. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications, at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.